it is breakfast time here in Lviv and we've ended up at the coolest cafe ever. It's themed like a post office and check it out. There's basically mailboxes everywhere. Yep. You have lots of postcards. You have the little like envelope feeders on the doors. Like it's so, so cool. So yeah, we're gonna head in, have a bite of food and then go sightseeing. So we're inside the cafe, our food orders have been placed, cappuccinos have arrived, <laughs> and this place is super cool. We weren't even planning to come here because technically this place specializes in pastas and beers, but the one cafe we had walked into first was totally packed. Yeah. So we just like wandered in here by chance. We saw they had a little breakfast section. And I mean, the place looked so cool. We were um, like, yeah, let's eat here. Exactly, so let's try that. Okay. And while you're trying that, something to keep in mind while traveling in Ukraine is mm -hmm. that we've noticed in both Kiev and now Lviv that if like if there's a really popular restaurant and you just show up like yeah. on the weekend, you it's need a reservation. Full. You need a reservation. Yeah. We were like, what? How yeah. is this possible? Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you really want to eat at a place, it's better to make a reservation in advance. Yeah, especially that has happened to us several times since we've that's, been here. I'd say that's the third time that's happened. Yeah. Yeah. And how's that cappuccino? Tasty. Tasty. So a few thoughts on Ukrainian breakfast. Yeah. So when we were kind of researching about like what was a typical breakfast in the Ukraine, mm -hmm. it didn't seem to be like a, an exact standard. You know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, you could have something like borscht, there could be like dumplings, but we've already shown that in some other videos. Yeah. So we decided to just come and have like more of a contemporary breakfast. A contemporary breakfast. Contemporary Ukrainian breakfast. But anyways, it should be really good. Like I'm excited about what's coming. And this is my first sip of the cappuccino. Cappuccino. Ah, yes. Need my coffee in the morning. This is your third cup. Come on, <laughs> let's admit it. <laughs> I do at home before coming here. He's already had coffee at the Airbnb. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm wired for sound today, guys. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that's and beautiful. Pancakes. <laughs> yeah. Enjoy your meal. Oh my goodness, the food is here. This is so amazing. This is so much more beautiful than I was expecting. So oh, no. right in front of me, I've got these crepes with apple and walnuts. And just look at the way they've like folded them and like twirled them. Like it's so pretty. And it has cottage cheese as well. Icing sugar, cinnamon. Like this it's is gorgeous. a work of art. I almost don't want to dig into it. I mean, <laughs> this breakfast. And we are hungry. It looks like a little flower almost. Oh wow. Show us, the, mi show us the middle. The middle. Ooh, so it looks like oh. berries. Oh, I thought this one was apple, but maybe we got berries. Wonderful. Doesn't matter. Oh, I mean, the, the other I'm happy the other one way. would be apple then. Yeah, because this. Maybe? Yeah, because the other one has a uh, has a cinnamon flavor smell. Mm, mm. Is that good? Oh wow, that's really good. Tasty. Mm. I have wow. to say, we have a bit of a sweet tooth this morning. Mm. <laughs> Both of us ordered sweet breakfast. So. Yeah. And it's so nice with this like cottage cheese and all the icing sugar and cinnamon mixing together. Mm. Oh man. Got mm. to love it. Mm. And such a nice breakfast. And those have apple. And walnuts. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. So it's like a mix of um apples, berries, and walnuts that? in there. It's kind of hard to see. I mean it all looks kind of like mush. Okay. Just trust my taste buds here. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Good stuff? That's some really good stuff. So Sam didn't want to miss out on the crates, no. so Jerry. I did not. And something that's really cool too that we just noticed is that they have, look at this, mint leaves. Mint leaves, yeah. Yeah. And it has a nice amount of like icing sugar and just, yeah, it's just so beautiful. It really is a work of art. It really is a work of art. Like these are the nicest crepes I've ever had in terms of presentation. Like seriously, that was such a beautiful plate. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> he says. I taste something that's a little bit similar to like a cottage cheese as well. Yeah, yeah, that's the sauce. Yeah, the, yeah. the white sauce underneath the crepe. It's really good. Oh man, it gives it a bit of a, a salty complement to the to the sugariness of this. I really like that. Oh my gosh. 
And we have a lot more to try. And time for the next dish. Yeah, the next dish is a stack of little pancakes here, dusted with icing sugar. If you look yeah, down, yeah. and it's got um, this raspberries. Is raspberries. It has a, a lot of cinnamon, which I'm I'm really smelling and enjoying. <laughs> and I, apparently, this is going to be a sour cream based sauce. So yeah, I'm just going to take one off here. Those pancakes are nice and fluffy. Oh yeah, they really are. Look at that, nice and fluffy. Take it for a swim. Grab a berry. Oh yeah, that is awesome. Those are like, I just love, I love anything with a lot of uh, cinnamon. And it's sweet, but it's also tart with the berry and a little bit sour with the sour cream sauce. So you have a lot of flavors competing. It's wonderful. Your taste just, buds are being entertained here. Yeah, very much so early in the morning. So <laughs> this is, yeah, I thought we were getting something a bit more sweet this morning, but it's nice to have the tartness and sourness as well because those are flavors I really enjoy. All right, girl, we're good. Got some catchy music going on in the background. Yeah, even the music has been good. It's like yeah. uh, very, very like, classic tunes. Sounds like American cowboy music. <laughs> <laughs> Oh wow! It almost reminds me a bit of like a, like a Greek yogurt, no? Yeah, yeah. Like sour yeah. cream sauce. Yeah, that's, that's a good. good. Way of, that's a good way of describing it, actually. Mm. It's just it's really nice. Yeah. Pancakes are so fluffy. I mean, love fluffy pancakes. This is a nice surprise. I mean, I know we could have had borscht or dumplings for breakfast, yeah. but this is a nice change because I feel yeah. like we've done a lot of the the typical Ukrainian dishes, you know? Exactly. Yeah, I mean, like, part of having breakfast in, in different countries is realizing that, like, there isn't often always a standard. Like, people mm. people basically eat whatever they, they're in the mood for. Mm -hmm. uh, and breakfast changes from, like, a weekday to a weekend mm -hmm. because of, like, on a weekend and you're more likely weekend, to experiment. So. Yeah. I feel like on a weekend you're more likely to experiment, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. So this... This was all Sam's doing because apparently <laughs> pancakes and crepes were not enough. Yeah. So he wanted something else that was sweet. And our, our server suggested this particular dessert. Yeah. So it kind of looks like, what is it, like deep fried dough maybe? Coated in like sugar, cinnamon, and it comes with a little little sauce bowl here. Yeah. So let's see what this is all about. Mm. Oh wow. This is like a nice creamy vanilla custard. Mm. Again, super sweet. Wow, this is good. I mean, there's no way I can eat all of this, but I'll enjoy <laughs> one or two, no problem. So my turn to try. And I don't know if you can see this, but these are absolutely coated in icing sugar and cinnamon. Beautiful. Beautiful, he says. But Beautiful. Art. Dunk it. I'm eating art. I'm eating art. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's that custard that really makes it. Yeah. And then the first like the first bite, the cinnamon really hits you. Mm -hmm. And then the custard and yeah, it's just really nice. Oh my gosh, this is a, this is a wonderful breakfast, but it's so much food that it's turning more into a brunch. For I sure. know. And who would have expected this from a post office themed cafe? <laughs> I know. Yeah, that specializes in pasta and craft beer. Yeah. They also do a nice breakfast, guys. <laughs> If you, if you have a sweet tooth, come here, for sure. And time for the bill. Time for the bill. This is what it came in. How cool yeah. is that? I, I kind of struggled to open the box <laughs> for a second there. <laughs> Our little, little gift inside the receipt. Yeah. So anyways, that came to what, just over 200? Yeah, it was 207. 207 to be exact, which is just slightly under 8 US dollars. Mm -hmm. And to, ra to conclude, that was for two cappuccinos yeah. and three basically mains. Big yeah. breakfast mains. We oh. had the, the crispy fried cookies, the yep. pancakes, the pancakes, crepes. The crepes. And oh boy, we are stuck. Oh my gosh, we're full. So yeah, you can't, you can't find too much better value for four, four dollars per person, really, can you? So yeah, I would highly recommend this place if you're looking for a nice breakfast here in Lviv, Ukraine. Mm -hmm.